G'day legends, been a bloody hot, hot one here today uh, Just And I've just had a game of basketball to finish it all off So uh, that wasn't that pleasant uh, Running around as an old fellow myself now Alright, today's video is Ethereum for dummies Not calling you a dummy if you don't know what Ethereum is But it's just an easy title to get people's attention I think Alright, so first of all, as I always do, I'm going to give you the technical overview and I'll be reading to do that, so I apologise for looking away from the camera, but that's what I'll do for you. Alright, Ethereum. What is it? Ethereum is a decentralised network that can be used to create the uh, and, and run specialised digital applications. The Ethereum platform builds off of the blockchain technology originally developed for Bitcoin. Ether, or ETH, is Ethereum's native currency. The key benefits, as a decentralized uh, network, there can be a single point, there can be no single point of failure in the system. This makes Ethereum less vulnerable to hacking uh, power outages and other threats that might compromise user data. Um, how does it work? The, the Ethereum platform is fueled by Ether coins at every step Applications are required by the Ethereum code to pay for every operation they perform. Ether is also provided as a reward to the users who contribute uh, resources to the decentralized network by mining. And it was created back... Uh, it doesn't say when, but, um, but it was created by a Vitalik Buterin um, when he was 17 years old. So now... That's the technical stuff. I took that from Rocket Coin um, website. But what does all that mean? Well, a lot of it's pretty technical. But basically, Ethereum is the second biggest uh, cryptocurrency by market cap. It is the largest by market cap um, actual blockchain that people use daily to transact on. Um, Bitcoin's not necessarily used for that type of thing, um, like it, it can be, but it's not great for doing that. Um, Ethereum has its own faults, uh, but when I was back in 2017, uh, start of 2018, um, Ethereum's actually where I put all of my trust in the end after a couple of scams and stuff that I got caught up in, which is part of why I do these videos, so that I can try and help people to avoid those type of things. Um, now, the reason I thought Ethereum was the go back then and why it was, uh, why now it's in it for me, it's it's like the, you know, what they say about the banks, they're too big to fail. Ethereum is is really in the, it, the it's too big to fail camp. It's it's very much second to Bitcoin as far as investing goes. Um, but you know, it, Bitcoin's you know moves slowly uh, as it rises um, as far as cryptocurrencies go. Sorry, there's a few mozzies out here. Um, but Ethereum's not much faster uh, most of the time. It does shoot. It has its little shoot ups, and it'll end up beating Bitcoin, I believe, for this uh, bull cycle. But um, it's the reason I put my faith in it back then was because to me I went without Ethereum um, and this is before I knew a lot about other uh, blockchains that have come along without Ethereum these other cryptocurrencies aren't going to work is the way I looked at it I went it's it's the building layer it's, it's what everything sort of gets built on um, and I was right to a degree so if you look at it like that it's one of the. It's a key component that a lot of the other DApps and apps and things were, is built on. That's what I kind of thought. Now, if you know anything about crypto, you'll say, "Oh, but there's you know there's others now. There's Solana. There's Avalanche. There's even Cardano is headed in. Um, you know that's got a pretty uh, vibrant community. Um, they're all the new kids on the block compared to Ethereum, is mainly in size. Like Cardano has been around for a while, but. Um, one way to look at it, I would say, is, you know, when there's a, there's always that rich part of town um, and all the rich people live there, well, the road through the middle of that, we'll call that Ethereum Road, right? 
Well, all the biggest apps and stuff are, are, will be on Ethereum. Um, for a majority of the time, we've had cryptos now. But that road, um, you have to pay a heavy toll to go on that road. Ethereum is quite costly to use. Um, per se, it could cost you $100 to do a transaction on Ethereum. You go, well, why would I bother using it then? Well, that's the thing. People, unless they really, really want something or they have a lot of money and don't care, they don't use it um, very often. And you go, well, I thought you said that we use that um, more than Bitcoin. Well, there's things called layer two. So Ethereum is the, the base layer. There's things called layers ones and layer twos and, and stuff like that. And they go over the top of it. So the road, Ethereum road, has lots of potholes. and But it's a toll road. And so we go, well, I don't want to pay tolls to go on that road. Well, there's a little bypass bridge. And that bridge goes along the side of it. And it is um, it, it's a beautiful new road. And it's called Polygon. Or it's, there's other ones. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head now. Because sorry, I'm just making this of an evening. Um, but so the layer twos make going down that street uh, smooth and cheap, because otherwise everyone would just move to the other blockchains. Um, Solana will and Avalanche and that they are the they are the new parts of town um, with nice new buildings, but all the rich people haven't really moved there yet as it were. So that's I've made that up myself off the top of my head just now. So if that's a bit ridiculous if you're a crypto person, I am sorry, but I'm just trying to explain it to new people as Ethereum is the part of town. Um, it's it's the big old road. It's got all, it's it's too big to fail. And no matter what potholes or, or what fees that are there, people are gonna build things on that road um, on that chain, that technological chain, they're going, to, they're going to put things there to make it usable. And they're going to try and keep the fees down. Um, so get rid of the tolls, as it were. Um, find ways around it to cheapen the tolls. Yeah, that's about as, that's the best as I can think of right now is to explain Ethereum. It's, it's, your, it's your second biggest coin. It's fairly safe as far as crypto goes. Crypto is very volatile, as they say, uh, for the whole of crypto. But Bitcoin's the, the safest bet. And Ethereum's going to be your sa second safest bet. Um, because both of them now, too big to fail. So that is Ethereum for dummies. Basically, it is the, the place where all of the cryptocurrency things get built on or it's the original one that they all got built on, um, as far as that's surviving. Um, and because of that, it's it's just in the too big to fail camp. Hope this has helped you understand. Um, it may be a slightly silly uh, way of looking at it, but you know what, I'm just trying to help out new people as best I can to understand a technology that is quite complex at times. All right, have a lovely evening. Do something nice for someone out else. Crypto Bogan out.